Hey, welcome Bulldog fans. Uh, we are pleased here on Bulldog TV to bring you a new series we're calling the Coach Atkins Pregame Show. And it features, guess who? <laughs> Coach Atkins. So each week uh, during the pregame, uh, we'll be talking with Coach Atkins. And uh, we might as well get going, huh? Yeah. So uh, I think it's no surprise who the opponent is this week. Mm. We've got Morton. Uh, big question, of course, is, is there some sort of revenge factor? Um, how does that play into your game prep coming in? Yeah, you know, um, that's a great question because I, I think the community members, the um, uh, the seniors from last year, uh, I think everybody, you know, maybe outside of our locker room is using that word revenge, and, and rightfully so, right? I, I completely get it. Um, but we've kind of preached the exact opposite to to our kids this week, and, and our theme was, was more about being us and, and just doing what we can do um, or what we normally do for that matter. Um, you know, re revenge is, is something that you try to make up for and, and, and definitely certainly, you know, based off of last year. Um, but, you know, th this is this year, and, and we preach to the kids all week about, you know, how do we want to start this season? Um, certainly at 930, you know, we're, we're hoping that that uh, revenge word comes up again. Um, but, you know, we're not going to get revenge in, in one play. We're certainly not going to get it in one practice this week. Um, we have to maintain throughout the course of the game and, and again, do what we do, and, and then everything else will, will take care of itself. Makes sense. Makes sense. And while we're on the subject of Morton, uh, Seth Glatz comes to mind. Of course, he's gone now, and they're missing their quarterback, Lane Kaufman. Does that give you a little bit of confidence going into this first week, knowing that you don't have to deal with those guys? Or uh, how do you prep not knowing? Yeah, and that's, again, another great one. But, you know, any time – you don't have the nation's leading rusher um, on the opposite side of the field from you. You got to feel a little bit good about that. Um, but at the same time, you know, Tim does a great job with this program, and, and I know they're going to replace uh, uh, Seth, and I've heard it's going to be by a committee of, uh, of, of a couple different backs. So, again, we're, we're looking forward to that opportunity. Um, you know, their, their quarterback, you mentioned Kaufman's gone now. This quarterback's going to be more dynamic than, than Lane was, and that's no disrespect to him he ran the offense very well um, but this kid's going to be more of a dual threat uh, he can run and throw so again I'm going to have to prepare a little bit differently uh, uh, for Morton this time around uh, as opposed to, to last year in the playoffs makes sense makes sense and you mentioned earlier in your first question you talked about um, who who we got to be us we got to be bulldog football what what does that mean who who are we well, at the end of the day, you know, we, we do what we do. We, we play fast. We play physical. We fly around. Um, we're exciting. We're electric. Um, and, and, again, our, our tempo offensively is, is another staple that, that makes us who we are. Um, and, and at the end of the day, what I kept preaching to the kids, you know, all week long is – is how we battle through adversity. And again, I think that's another thing that, that makes us so special um, in the group that we have, because there's going to be adversity. It's week one. There's going to be highs, there's going to be lows, um, but how we handle that adversity, again, staying true to what we do and who we are and the family strong uh, brotherhood that we have, when that adversity strikes, when we remain Bulldogs through it, we're going to be just fine. Love it. Bulldog strong, family strong. Uh, so another question we had for you is, uh, is the team ready? Do you feel like they're ready for this game? <laughs> I would, uh, I, I would say that's an understatement. Um, uh, you know, and we could tell this week in practice, um, they're kind of tired of going against each other. Um, the, those are their buddies on the other side, you know, and, and they're ready, ready to hit the color red to, to be completely honest mm -hmm. with you. And, and, and we saw it, especially last night in practice, you know, with a little bit of chirping going on, like, you know, it, it's just that, that itch and, and, and knowing that it, that it's almost here and, and you're about ready to have that opportunity. So I would say, uh, uh, we're ready is, is definitely an understatement for sure. Yeah, you've had 364 days, I think, uh, of readiness, it seems like. We've talked about uh, in other pregame show or the preseason show, we actually talked about um, the countdown clock. Mm. So we've definitely been counting down as a community, uh, I know, and I know you guys have as a team. So uh, we're excited to kick this thing off here shortly. Um, how important is this game to you as a head coach? Yeah, I mean, I, I think – Week one is always important, right? And, and again, that's kind of what everybody, you know, wants the revenge of Morton. Um, 
and, and rightfully so. I understand that we, we want to start any week one off with a, on the right note. Again, it just kind of sets the stage for, for the rest of the, the season uh, for that matter. And this just so happens to be against a, a team that kind of knocked us out of the playoffs. So that revenge word does come up. Um, but absolutely, week one is always in a, an extremely important game. Um, partially because of the unknown about the other opponent right no no previous film mm-hmm. um and 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 then certainly with all the the week one jitters and the week one mistakes and 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 uh you know as far as that's concerned so week one is is extremely important and uh i know i want this one um and, and i think our kids want it more than i do so <laughs> well let's talk about um kind of going off script a little bit here but let's talk about maybe some of the new faces uh, as we get ready for kickoff soon that maybe folks at home don't know about um, that you're excited about maybe you don't want to mention by name or maybe position but talk about some of those new faces and how they're going to fill in for this team and what makes it different from last yeah. last year's group no again we're, we're about to, ready to kick it off so so I I won't hide any names now but uh, again I'm extremely excited for for the guys who are going to be taking over for for those seniors that we lost off of last year's team um, defensively you know the three guys really stand out and come to mind Donovan Lewis is going to help us in the secondary taking over for Ashton Heiser um, just an incredible kid who's who's really picked up our system um, faster than than we even expected honestly and then his athleticism again he's just he's a great kid and works extremely hard and I'm excited for for him uh, in the in the back end of our defense this year and and then in the box you know with those two linebackers that we're replacing in Mitchell Gallier and Logan Petro, um, to, to be able to replace them with a Brennan Hauser at middle backer um, and then Ben Wagner at, at our other stack backer. I mean, it, you just – I can't say enough good things about them. And, again, I, I'm sure everybody's going to read about them or definitely see them um, on Friday night. So so extremely excited to have those three kids on the defensive side of the ball. Again, we, we return everybody else, so to speak, get Ryan Yancey back off an injury and Javon Irwin's uh, playing out of his mind right now, excited about his journey junior year that he's going to have um, so so that side of the ball is looking looking really sharp and then offensively you know a couple guys on the O-line uh, replacing Tyson Finch is, is going to replace Braden Smith at center and and Tyson again we, we trusted him enough last year as a freshman that we brought him up and, and he even played against Richwoods for us um, so have all the confidence in the world in him Colton metcalf Plus is going to take over at right tackle again another sophomore starting good sized kid who's worked extremely hard in this offseason knows our playbook again gets off the ball with, with some physicality and you guys are going to love watching him play ball um, and then at left tackle we return a, a senior coming back out for the team this year uh, Mitchell Gilbert who again great size great feet um, overall incredible mindset to, to be on the offensive line uh, so so we're happy to have those three guys there and and then getting Luke Johnson back at running back is certainly huge and and then we're going to replace Dream Eagle and everybody knows about Dream Dream was kind of the one of the faces uh, of our team last year and, and to be able to have a sophomore in Trey Peters with, with his size and athletic ability step up the way that he has um, and, and kind of take over that, that outside wide receiver spot. Um, another great weapon to have, you know, in Wyatt Bomb's, you know, arsenal. And, and Trey's going to have a great year, and, and we're excited to watch what he does on the field. Well, you're not the only one excited. <laughs> Trust me. I know those are, those are going to be some dynamic players. All right. Well, like I said, we are excited for this game and we're about to kick off. I know Chad's excited. Uh, we're about to kick this thing off, Coach. And uh, thanks for doing this. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next Appreciate week it. for the Coach Atkins pregame show. <laughs>